A court in central Japan has ordered a utility company to suspend the operations of two nuclear reactors. The decision is the first of its kind affecting reactors that are online. The residents had filed for the court injunction in January of last year. They said reactors number three and number four at the Takama power plant are not safe enough. Otsu District Court ruled that the operator of the plant has not given a sufficient explanation about how to prevent or deal with accidents. It noted that the operator's safety measures are based on an estimation of the maximum possible tremor from only the past 14 earthquakes. It said that method is not irrefutably scientific. The two reactors were restarted this year after clearing new, stricter regulations the government introduced after the Fukushima accident. The court injunction takes effect immediately. I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. We managed to convey to the court just how passionately we feel about this issue. Officials with the plant operator Kansai Electric Power Company issued a statement. They said it's regrettable that the court failed to understand their arguments. They described the injunction as totally unacceptable and said they'll move quickly to appeal. The officials said in the meantime they'll start the process to shut down the number three reactor on Thursday morning. They said it will be fully offline within 10 hours. The number four reactor is already offline. Japan's top government spokesperson said Tokyo is keeping a close eye on the developments. Independent regulators spent a lot of time assessing the reactors at the Takahama plant. They judged that the reactors satisfied the world's toughest standards. The government respects this decision and it will keep working to put reactors back online. The operator of a nuclear plant on the Sea of Japan coast says a control rod in an offline reactor moved unexpectedly. What the, the operator of a nuclear plant on the Sea of Japan coast says a control rod in an offline reactor moved unexpectedly. This, is, this, this would be a sitcom <laughs> if the consequences wouldn't be so dire. And, but they are. Control rods are crucial for security in reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, says the incident occurred Tuesday at the number five reactor of the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant in Niigata Prefecture. TEPCO officials say an alarm indicated that one of the reactor's 185 control rods moved out of its normal position. I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Many sure. people are. They say workers were manipulating valves related to the control rods at the time as part of regular inspections, but did not operate the rods. Here's where it gets crazy. They also say the rod returned to its normal position after about a minute. TEPCO says the trouble caused no nuclear fission chain reaction and did not affect the surrounding area. The company has reported the matter to the government and is investigating the cause. <laughs>
Don't play. 